does everyone do it? Yeah. I'm Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. I am from the state of New York, and I'm a freshman yeah, member. Uh, and my mom is also a Cuban refugee. She came to this country in 1959 to escape the Castro regime. She loves this country. She is so patriotic about the United States of America, yeah, and she wants to preserve our freedoms and liberties, as do I, and I know as you do as well. Woo! I will say that it's important for all Americans to care about what's going on in Cuba. Because what's happening in Cuba is something that is spreading throughout Western Hemisphere. And that is socialism and communism. And even here in the United States, we see individuals who want to move us towards socialism and communism, and we cannot never allow no. them to take our freedoms, no. our liberties, never. or control. Never. I'm from New York City. I'm telling you firsthand, when we had protests in the streets last summer, I saw the communist hammer and sickle spray painted on our government buildings, and there is this Marxist movement. Yeah. So what's happening in Cuba is directly related to the people who are freedom-loving Americans here in the United States. Yes. Yeah. And as Carlos said, it's gone to Venezuela, Nicaragua, Bolivia, Venezuela, the richest country in South America, destroyed and propped by the Castro regime. And who, and who is siding with the communist dictators? Our adversaries, okay? North Korea, Iran, China, Russia, that's who's propping up the regime in communist Cuba and allowing people to continue to lose their human rights, being beaten and jailed, uh, killed if they just speak out against their government because they want freedom. They want what we have here in the United States of America. Yeah. So my question for President Biden is, are you with the dictators of Cuba, Venezuela, Iran, North Korea, China, or are you with the American people who want freedom and the Cuban people who are dying for freedom literally yes. as we speak? Yes. Thank you and God bless America. Viva Cuba Libre, estamos contigo. Espero que van a tener libertad muy pronto. Gracias.